Ele é membro para ter história de história. Same will be said if you're too late and you didn't get a chance to lift him up and he's starting to sit down. So, so as he's sitting down, put keep his leg and you jump rather than moving him, you move yourself. So the first one, if you can, move him, make it hard for him to get his legs where he wants. If you're too late for that, move yourself and get to the side control cup. So once we get either one of them onto the side, try to keep him on his back. He's going to want to hip escape out and get his legs back into the space and get his legs back into the game. So keep him flat on his back. Keep, try to find a place where your neck isn't under so much pressure. Put his neck under pressure if you can. You can do a bomb flu choke here or you can just pressure it. If you have a chance, you can fight the hands a little bit. If the leg is coming in and giving you a bit of bother, you can block the leg, you can grab his trousers or you can block the hip, etc. Stay in good position, pressure the head and then gradually keep your balance and gradually get your head out of there. Break this grip, it can take a while and start to go out. If you have enough pressure on his neck and you're keeping him in bad position for him, you can choke him more than he's choking you, so it works out okay. Um, other ones to remember as well, is if he gets you into the closed guard, if you do the guillotine on the closed guard, you know, please. If he gets you in here, Try puddle, put your weight in with your shoulder into him. If you join your hands, in. weight in and put some pressure in on top of him. Try look up around to the side, open up this space, hand in, and it can take a bit of time, but try get that grip broke. And when there's enough time, slip your head out of there. It gets a little bit trickier if he does an arm in one, but you can still do it. It just takes a bit of time. Keep the weight on him, don't let him stretch you out or put your head in and compress you and start working from there. All right, um, other ones to remember, if you get to the good side where your head's on one side and your body's on the other, you can pressure them. Um, sometimes what you find happening with the one-handed guillotine is if he has it, say if he done the one from the mount or something, but you managed to get him off to the side here, if you can put enough pressure on the back of his arm here with your head, you can come up behind him. So you can pressure him and start trying to turn in. What you have to watch for though is, that he doesn't uh, posture up and do like, you know, like a scarf hold if you saw that leg through and uh, all the way past my head on this side, you know. He goes like this and just rips your head straight out of the ground, right? So keep a bit of weight on him here on the far side, keep his posture down, weight on his elbow. If you have a chance to pull on the arm a little bit and then arch in, I'll just, I'll just leave his arm there to not put too much weight on. Arch in, turn in and up behind him and start to attack. So any time you have a chance, to break that grip, do. That's one way, arch it into it, pull the hand and come up behind them. You can jump to the side. If it's too hard to jump to the side, um, we'll go with this side here, Dino. Can you do it with your right hand? Um, if he sits through, if you go sit through for a guilty, and I can't jump to that side, you can go the other way. So try to keep his leg a little bit, and start to walk all the way around, back over to this side. Same again, keep him flat on his back, gradually start working your way out of that grip. It can take, be patient working your way out of the grip. Keep him in bad position where it's hard for him to get the leverage on the finish and then break it down. So if he does go, flatten his back and you can go over the far side. If you go again without the leg up high enough, you know. If he goes and his leg isn't in good position, he can jump and finish over this side. If his leg is up, he can go, watch him here with the heel on you. Don't let him uh, drag himself over. Keep the leg off. And all the way around, and then start to work your finish there. Okay, just a few different options. Give it a try on two. One, two.